What is up guys, it is your boy Lax here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far and everything else. Before I get started right into this video, I would like to say sorry for the use gameplay all over again. My phone when I decided to add anything else, so I'm going to be stuck with this for a little while. But before I get started right into this video guys, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe guys because I'm going to try to upload on my phone. It's going to be a lot of work, it really is, but who really cares? Like the video, cause I heard if you like the video, you'll you will not have the coronavirus. So, like the video, and um, push notifications when you subscribe, so you guys will know when I do upload again. It won't be that much until I get my laptop. But today, guys, we are gonna be reacting. Yes, I know reacting video. These videos are not gonna be happening a lot on my channel, but we are gonna be reacting. My psycho brother, eight. My dog. Yes, yes. I know. It sounds stupid. My psycho brother ate my dog. But I need something to react to. I searched up. Ate, ate. Someone ate my dog. The first thing I searched up, like, my psycho brother ate my dog. So, no, for you guys, let's just, let's get started right into this video. Hey, my name is Delara, and I want to tell you how I got rid of my psychopath brother. He tyrannized my family for years. But now he is gone. And yes, I confess, I did it. I made him disappear. I came to the conclusion that she killed her brother. I don't know how. It's like, I came to the conclusion, I did it. I finally did it. Does that mean you killed your brother? I know I'm not being funny at all, but like, I'm asking a serious question. Because if you did, that does count as a murder and you will be able to go to jail for that. And these, vi or these stories are supposedly real. So if this was real... By any chance, she would be in jail. I just gotta say. Since I can remember, I lived in constant fear of death. When my brother and I played together, he would always put plastic bags over my teddy bear, as if he was suffocating it. And then he would point at me and laugh like I would be next. And yup, this is why you don't have no siblings, guys. Because you guys have siblings, there's always gonna be that one psycho sibling you're gonna have that's gonna suffocate your bears. So if you guys don't like the video, I'm going to suffocate your bear. My parents knew he was an evil monster, which is why they never left me alone with him in this. I want you guys to know that these stories are not real. I forgot what the channel is called, but these, these stories aren't real. If you think they are real, then I don't know who or what you're doing with your life. Just please, please remember that all these stories are fake and everything else. This kid did not eat his dog. He might be still be a psychopath, but these stories aren't real same room. He loved drawing himself eating and crucifying other people. To make things worse, most of the time, I was the victim. So of course I was scared. I knew my brother wanted to turn his fantasies into reality. We can interpret that any way that I want, but in the end, fantasies and reality, you don't want to do that. You don't, and that's all I have to say for that part. But luckily, I had my parents and my dog Tobias protecting me. My brother had tried several times to break into my room at night. And we know what happened then. Play the Pornhub intro, please. I won't play because I'm too lazy to put it in. But Tobias always slept next to me. He was a very big dog. Unfortunately, that didn't save him from my brother. One day, my brother ran after me, and I started screaming for help. Tobias immediately came to my rescue and jumped onto my brother, threw him down and snarled at him. But psychopaths like my brother are incapable of feeling fear. That's why he just grinned back at Tobias and said, You will regret this badly. I don't know why, but I pictured that like an anime fashion style. Like, you're going to regret what you just did. Ah! I knew it was my responsibility to protect Tobias from my brother. But I failed. My brother must have lured him outside and then Tobias was gone. I told my parents that my brother got rid of Tobias, but they didn't quite believe me. And that right there, guys, how the dog got eaten. The dog just jumped on the dude, probably licked him a few times, and the kid was like, you're going to regret that. He ate the dog. The end. That's the story. They said, maybe Tobias just ran away. I heard that a lot, okay? I did. My mom, my dad said... Your mom left, okay, but in all reality, she did leave. Damn. 
But the next day, when my parents and I came back from grocery shopping, my brother was in the kitchen cooking. He had never cooked before, and for some reason he was staring at me with his usual evil grin. Then he pulled out a big haunch and bit into it, while staring at me. The haunch was weirdly big. It took me a few seconds to realize that he was eating the leg of Tobias. In that moment, something switched inside me. I knew only one of us would survive. I was ready to die. I first told my parents what was going on. But when they took a closer look at the haunch, they said it wasn't Tobias. But I knew they were lying to make me feel comfortable. Then you're rising that it was all a dream. You woke up, they see your dog. They woke up here in another dream, they see your dog dead. Yes, I said it. Dead. I know. I should have said headphone user warning, but I don't really care about y'all. I really don't. But recipes to that dog, though. Because a few minutes later, my brother told me what he had done to Tobias. How he had cooked him, and that he tasted like high-quality beef. Tobias wasn't just a dog for me. He was my best friend. And no one eats my best friend without equal retribution. Equal retribution? Do you mean to go eat your brother then? Because that counts as cannibalism. Eating a dog does not count as cannibalism, but eating your brother does count as cannibalism. Cannibalism. I am very sorry. But, um, that's not good though. My parents were scared of my brother, but I wasn't anymore. I knew if I didn't take action, I would end up like Tobias. To protect myself, my dad gave me pepper spray and told me to use it against my brother if he threatened me. I'm going to end the video here because pretty much there's nothing cool about the rest of this video. I've watched the rest of it. There really isn't. All we care about is the dog, how the dog was died. And um, the dog died a gruesome death. It really did. But well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, guys, because that would mean so much to me. We're only two followers away from seven, two subscribers away from seven. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. But yeah, like the video, because if you guys don't like the video, I'm going to eat your dog, just like this psychopath right here. And you think I'm joking? I am not joking, so don't test me. Haha. <laughs> um, share the video, guys, if you guys did find this interesting. Um, Yeah. Hope you guys do stay safe out in this horrible world crisis we are all in. And um, have a good day. See you guys.